Hello everybody, my name is Khan Sidniki and I'm a second year law student and currently an intern at UB Advocate under the guidance of Jeevan Prakash Kumar Sir who is an advocate on record at Supreme Court of India and you are watching UB Advocate Intern's YouTube channel. So today, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic which is very important from your academic point of view and the topic is Talaq under Muslim law and how to judicially file divorce. So there are three types of divorce under Muslim law. First is divorce by husband, second is divorce by wife and the third is divorce by mutual consent. A divorce can be granted in two modes. First is extrajudicial divorce and the second is judicial divorce. So extrajudicial divorce is the one which is granted outside the court without a judicial process why a judicial divorce is that which is granted inside the court by a judicial process under the extrajudicial divorce the husband can grant divorce by four ways first is talakul sunnat under which there are two more ways that is talakul ahsan and talakul hasan the second is talakul biddat and the third is ila and fourth is zihar the wife can grant divorce by two ways, talakul tafdis and liyan. And under mutual consent, there are also two ways, khula and mubarak. Under judicial divorce, there is only one way of divorce, that is dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1989. By this act, husband or wife or with mutual consent can take divorce. The section 2 of dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act provides nine grounds for judicially taking divorce. Number one is absence of husband for four years. Number two is if husband has neglected or has failed to provide maintenance to his wife for a period of two years. Third is husband has been sentenced to imprisonment for a period of seven years or upwards. Fourth is husband has failed to perform without reasonable cause his marital obligations for a period of three years. Fifth ground is if impotency of husband. Sixth ground is if husband has been insane for a period of two years or is suffering from a virulent venereal disease. Seventh is if the wife claims that she got married to her husband before she attained the age of 15 years, repudiated the marriage before attaining the age of 18 years. Eighth ground is the ground which is recognized as valid for the dissolution of marriage under Muslim law or by Muhammad law. And the ninth ground is if the husband treats her with cruelty. There are additional grounds under the cruelty ground that are physical assault or statements against wife's character or forcing to lead an immoral life or to prevent her from exercising her legal rights or not letting her practice her religion or has more wives than one and does not treat her equitably in accordance with the injunctions of the Quran. I hope through this video you have understood the various types of talaq and also about the grounds through which someone can judicially file divorce. Thank you so much for watching.